Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to give you a TI-89 calculator tutorial. And um, yeah, this will be uh, the first of many videos to come, and so I'll teach you as much as I know. Um, now, uh, this calculator is useful, among other things, for uh, the SAT math, SAT subject tests, and uh, for the AP calculus exams. And having it and knowing how to use it is a tremendous advantage. Uh, and I've, I've in the past used the TI-83 and 84, but this is a much uh, superior calc calculator. Um, uh, not only and how much more it's able to do, but also um, because it's so user-friendly. It's much more user-friendly. Um, now, um, so then let's get started by discussing the general layout of the calculator. So you've got like three important colors, blue, yellow, and white. And um, the... Uh, three buttons are also known as second, diamond, and alpha, right? And um, everything here, every button here, uh, has um, the three one of the three colors in it, one or more of the three colors in it, right? And uh, except for the apps button here. So, so, so um, if you want to access something that's in blue, then you want to first hit the blue button or the second button. So for example, to get cosine, we'd have to hit second, and then uh, Z right here, and that would get me cosine. Yeah, all right, all right. And of course, then if you want, uh, like for example, the letter H, then you wanna hit alpha, which is the white button, and then eight, and that gets you H, yeah? All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, and then, you know, you get it, you get it, and you're gonna see me use it many times, so you'll get additional practice. But uh, what's the first thing that I want to teach you? Well, let's graph some functions. So how you do that is um, you hit diamond and then F1 because look, under F1 in um, yellow is Y equals. So that's where you're going to be able to type in your function. So diamond F1. Okay, now I've already uh, pre-typed my functions, but I'll do it over. So my first function was just uh, a linear equation or a linear function, and it was 2X plus 1. And you should be familiar with um, functions like this. And then for a second equation, let's type um, uh, x squared, the basic quadratic, right? And uh, for squaring, you use uh, this button right here. So, uh, and then uh, to the second, and there, there we are, that's x squared. And, um, you know, you can type as many functions as, your, um, <laughs> as you desire, as your heart pleases. Um, and and uh, but but for now let's keep it simple and have just two of them, right? Okay, cool, cool. So we want to graph these, right? So what we want to do is go to graph, which is under F three and yellow. So we hit diamond, and then F three, and it will graph them in order. So there's a line, and then there's a quadratic. Now in calculus, that overlapping region right there might be of interest, and uh, the point of intersections are probably of interest even in algebra. So I'll, uh, in a different video, show you how to do things like find points of intersection, and you do it once you have your graphs displayed here. So once you've hit diamond F3 and you come here, then notice that you've got like all these menus at the top, and it's through those menus that you find things like points of intersection between the graphs. There are other ways to um, find points, in, uh, points of intersection, but that's a good way to do it. So yeah, there it is. Um, now, um, like one thing you might want to do is get a better picture of maybe the overlapping region uh, for whatever reason, maybe you want to do that. So I'll show you how to change um, your window. And if, if you're like, you know, um, dealing with functions that have huge constants, then uh, changing your windows will be important anyway. So this is good knowledge. Notice uh, window is under F2 and it's also yellow. So we hit diamond F2. And my standard window for me is negative 10 to 10 along the X with um, increments of one and the same for Y. Uh, but here, like, it didn't look like we need the negative parts of Y as much um, or the negative parts of X as much. So let's go from negative five along X to 10. Ah, you see that gave me an error. You know why? And it's a good thing I would have forgotten to teach you about this. Um, and it's because I use this minus sign here uh, for a negative sign uh, in front of a number. This minus sign is like if you want to do 6 minus 4, you want to use this minus sign. But if you want to type negative 4, you got to use this little uh, negative sign right here at the bottom. So that's why I got an error message here. 
So um, we want to say negative 5. I need to change that by using this button, negative 5. And now it will be just fine. There you are. And um, so, so negative 5 to 10 is fine by me. And then let's count by halves, so 0.5. And then along the Y, we can go from like negative three. Oh, I did it again. Um, negative three, and then um, to what? To say eight. Yeah. Okay. And let's again count by um, halves. So there we are. And um, let's go to our graph, and we should get a zoomed-in picture um, showing the display as we requested. Um, And there it is. And uh, I want to keep uh, the um, videos um, on point and also concise. So this is it for uh, this video, but uh, many more to come. Next, I'll show you how to solve uh, equations and so on. And so um, stay tuned. All right, cool.